I will want to take you through this. We try to break down the radical and try to be able to simplify this and see what is it that we are talking about. Still using the exponential rules. So what do we start with first? Because this, I can try to split this into the square root of 49 dot square root of m squared dot square root of 2 raised to the power of 8. The square root of 49, we know very well it is 7. While the square root of m squared is m dot the square root of t raised to the power of 8. What do we know? That because this is t raised to the power of 8, then I can be able to split this further into t raised to power 2. Yeah? Everything we get will multiply by this, by 7m. t raised to power 2 dot t raised to power 2 dot t raised to power 2 dot t raised to power 2. Because I am multiplying, then when I add 2 plus 2 plus 2, that is 6 plus 2, 8. Now what happens? I get the square root. So getting the square root of this one, then it is the same as this square root will cancel out with these two, all of them. So therefore, what do I have? 7m dot t dot t dot t dot t. What do we get now? 7m because we are multiplying this, then this is 1, 1, 1, 1. So what do we get here? We will get t raised to the power of 4. You see? So what is happening? We are simply using the laws of indi the, the rules of indices or the exponential rules to find this. Either way, another way someone will have, will have to argue and try to tell me, then why not just say, instead of going through this, why not just as well say, since you are looking for the square root of t raised to the power of 8, then this one is the same as t raised to the power of 8, I multiply this by a half because I'm getting the square root. Then I simply get what here, 1. Here is 4. Therefore, the square root of t raised to the power 8 is the same as t raised to the power 4, which is still the same. But then I wanted to break it down so that my students are able to, to follow through or someone else who doesn't understand. But then we are saying another way is instead of doing this, we know very well that any number, if I have a raised to the power of a half, then it is the same as getting what? The square root of a. So that's what I'm saying. I can as well get the square root of this by math like this. Following that, then you can see that we are trying to break this radical number to be able to simplify it. Therefore, following through this, together with this one, this becomes our, our answer. I hope this just helps you to revise this about how to break down a radical to be able to simplify what? Uh, an expression of this particular nature and kind. So follow through that. Give us a like, comment, share, subscribe for us to keep on bringing you such.